uh, your your manager said that he has talked to you. You're you're kind of aware of the situation that you're facing on the on the roster right now. How how are you feeling about things um, going into camp? I felt pretty good in the winter. It was it was a blast and. Uh, I feel I feel good, man. I feel my swim feels really good. My my body, I feel really good. I feel like my head is in a good place, and and just just the way I'm feeling right now, I just I'm just trying to let things flow, you know, just going pitch by pitch, day by day, and just uh, try to take care of my own stuff and and let everything else take care of itself. You you've been taking some some fly balls in the outfield. Um, how how has that gone so far for you? <laughs> you know, I feel like I play I play outfield my whole childhood. You know, if, I feel pretty natural out there. I just need it feels pretty weird. It, the, the home play seems really far from me. <laughs> I haven't played there in a long time, and I just feel like I just need reps. You know, I just need to get get used to the you know to the what I'm at, and, and and I just I just feel like I just need repetitions to see you know how the ball goes off the bat and just make adjustments from there. I just feel like I just need that, and and I feel comfortable out there. You know, I like. I like playing outfield as well. I've always liked playing outfield, and I can I can use my arm too. You know, I like I like my arm, so I'm gonna have the opportunity to show that a little bit. And and whatever, man, whatever I get the, the opportunity to play and get some my bats and help the team, and I, I'm just open to whatever, honestly. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, bro. Okay, we'll go to Jeff Wilson. Hello, Ronald. Hey, Jeff. Hey, uh, what helps you? Um, I, I, I changed everything, honestly. I changed my whole route of my swing. I changed my approach. I changed the way I think. And I feel just like being uh, a very, very competitive, uh, a very competitive league in the Dominican, you know, there's not many games. Every, every little thing counts. And, and that's just something that I learned from there that I feel that I have to bring it over here because it helped me so much like to stay focused and, and fight pitch by pitch, you know, it doesn't matter that it's gonna be hundred and fifty two games, you know. I gotta take every pitch like it's like it's a playoff game or it's a it's a last game or the last pitch that I'm gonna see. So that just make me, you know, more focused and and I feel like uh the adjustment that I made on my swing, you know, I'm more straight to the ball. I'm I feel like I'm kinda attacking the ball, being more aggressive. And stuff like that. It has helped me to create better approach and have better plans against pitchers. What were your thoughts when the Rangers traded for Neymar? I didn't. I mean, I didn't really. I was playing when that happened, and I, I didn't really have any type of like like reaction. I didn't have any type of reaction. I was just, you know, what I mean. They, they, I just trying to do what I, what I was, what I was doing in the Dominican. I was just focusing more on myself. You know, I, I, I didn't have uh, like a hundred percent doubt. I, you know, I thought that there were chances that were gonna trade me as well, and and I was just trying to focus on, on my at bats and and helping the team win in the Dominican, which that was that's where I was at at the moment. And I was just trying to you know let things flow and. And, and and if I was here in the spring training, I was just gonna come here and be ready to play. Thanks, Yep. Go to Sam. Uh, what made you want to approach? Uh, it was either Chris Woodward or JD, whoever it was, about playing left field. So it sounded like you kind of made that 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 decision proactively. You say, well, what was the approach? No. Uh, the, what made you want to approach uh, either Chris Woodward or JD or whoever it was about playing left field or right field? Uh, it sounded like you did that proactively on your own. Yeah, I mean, I just I just want to play. I just want to get some my bats and and you know what, whatever gives me the opportunity to be on the field the most that I can this year, I'll, I'll be I'll be available to. I feel like I can be I can do a pretty good job in the outfield. I feel like I have the ability to do that and and just whatever gives me more playing time and and they they like the the decision that they like the idea and I'm just putting some work in out there so I, I can get as many at bats as I can this year and just help the team. I mean, I know you said you feel a little, it's a little weird, it's a little farther from home play, but what's, I mean, what do you feel like you need to kind of work on to get to, you know, be capable out there at a major league level? I need reps. I, I need a lot of reps. I feel like I need, you know, to get get out there, get early work, get fly balls from home plate. 
uh, make make a lot of throws to the bases. I feel like, you know, I feel like just gonna make me feel more natural out there. It's gonna make me feel more comfortable. I feel like uh, all the little things, like you know, like first step and get ready for fly balls and stuff like that. I feel like I have that done already because I have played outfield before. I just need to see, you know, see fly balls coming at me, seeing line drives, making the throws to the bases, and and see how that plays. And I feel like the just the repetitions are gonna make me better. Okay, let's go to Chris Halleck. Hey, Ronald. Um, uh, how did you feel today? Uh, obviously, you went one for two. Uh, sounded like the the second hit was a little more lucky, but you squared up the first one a little bit more. How how did your at bats feel today? I feel really good, you know. I feel like I'm doing the same thing I was doing back in the in the winter in the winter ball, the same approach, same stuff. Uh, first at bat, I hit the ball really well, you know. I was being aggressive. Uh, my second at bat was against a lefty, you know. I was a little bit more conservative, conservative, which is what that's what I've been doing in the, in the off season as well. And uh, you know, I got a good pitch. I feel like the second at bat, I missed that curveball. Uh, I missed it a little bit, but I felt like it was a good at bat as well, and I feel really good uh, on defense as well. I didn't get many opportunities, but I just feel like I'm on time for every pitch uh, in the defense side and on the offensive side as well. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to be consistent with that. Do you, just from everything you've gone through over, you know, especially you know, last year was such a hard year for so many players, but. Do you feel like you're on the verge of turning the corner after everything that you've gone through this winter? That I'm what? Do you feel like you're you're about to turn a corner at this stage in your career with everything that you've gone through and especially coming off of the, the off season that you that you that you're coming off of? Yeah, definitely. I firmly believe that I'm gonna be a different player this year and I'm I'm gonna be a different player from now on. You know, I feel more mature, I feel I, my my head's in a different place. I've gone through a lot of things that have be, make me become the the player that I am right now, and you know I firmly believe that the things that I'm doing right now are gonna take me to the next level. Awesome, thank you, Ronald. Yep. Alex, Grizzly, just kind of curious if I know you're you're gonna do what you can and what the what the uh, club wants you to do, but if you had a preference, because you played outfield, if you'd rather have a preference at first or outfield, where would you want to go? First base. You know, I if you if you ask me this question. Seven years ago, I would say I feel 100%. But, you know, I, I fell in love with the position, you know, all the work that I've been putting in on first base. I feel very comfortable. You know, I love playing out there. I feel like I, I help the team in so many ways and that I'm active every single pitch. You know, I just feel like I, I feel way more comfortable at first base. Obviously, uh, after a couple of reps, I don't know, you know, hopefully I feel as comfortable in the outfield now. And, and I, I just, you know, I just, whatever they need me, I want to be comfortable and be able to do my best and be able to do a, a quality job and, and, and be able to help the team. Appreciate it, Grizzly. Congratulations yeah. on the MVP. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Hey, a couple of more. Uh, Levi. Hey, hey you, you said you changed your swing this winter. I'm curious. I mean, you're a big, small guy with really long arms, and your, your hitting mechanics have kind of always been something that are the hitting coaches and coaches talk about like it, it makes it difficult in a way because your arms are so long. What 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 did you change about your swing back this winter? I feel like it changed everything. I feel like my my whole swing, it, it just transformed my whole swing. It might, it might not look at it. It might not look like like it when I'm I stand up on the plate. You know, it's pretty similar. You know, standing up, you're holding the bat a little away from my body, but it just the. Uh, the thoughts and the way I go and, and swing at the pitch is, is a whole different thing, you know. I feel like before I was trying, you know, stay within my body and do, you know, let the ball get deep and stuff like that. And I, I, that's just not what I'm thinking of right now. I'm just trying to get on top of the ball. I'm trying to hit it out front and I'm trying to, to whack it, you know. Before it was like, it was trying to hit the ball with the whole body and then just I uh, use my whole body to hit the ball. Now I just want to hit the ball out front, uh, I want to hit it myself instead of just letting the ball hit my bat, you know, and I'm just walking the more. It's just, it's a whole different feel. It's a whole different approach. I'm whacking it. This is good. Yes. I, like, uh, I like that. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll take two more. First, Kennedy, go ahead. Um. Hey, uh, earlier Woody had mentioned that he told you to not treat the season as kind of a marathon and just kind of approach it as each day being the best you can be and all that, you know, how has that affected how you kind of go through each day, you know, one way to the other? It starts today, my, my day from tomorrow starts today, you know, I get home right now, I try to get my rest, I try to watch my videos and, 
and watch. Uh, I mean, just try to keep my head on baseball. Like I feel like before, like when I get home, I'll try to relax, do something else, get my head away from the game. And then when I try to lock it in, like lock it back into baseball, it was kind of hard. Like now, I I've learned that I the most the more I have my head in baseball, the better you know I'm gonna feel the more comfortable on the on the field and stuff. And you know, I just. I just start today, tomorrow, I know I kind of organize everything today that I'm going to do tomorrow and it's just, I just go, you know, about whatever I need to do and, and like I said, you know, playing winnable and knowing like how short the season was and how, how it mattered every year, I, I just felt like a whole different player, like the, in, the intensity and, and, and I feel like I was aware of everything that was going on on the field. You know, that's just something that clicked, just knowing how important the games were. And like I said earlier, you know, it's 152 games, but I'm gonna treat it like, you know, a short season and, and be every single day and and be every pitch there, like every every at bat, every stuff. Like I feel like that, that's gonna in the long term. I feel like it's gonna get more like you know more simple, and it's gonna be better for me to be successful. Awesome, thanks. Last question, Evan. Ronald. I- it's certainly not whether or not you can take fly balls in the outfield. I mean, we all know that if it came down to defense, there's a spot for you on this on this roster as a, as a first baseman. But the offensive changes that you made, how did you get there? Who 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 suggested them to you, and and how did you kind of decide I've got to make some changes? Um. I feel like it all started when I worked with Nelson Cruz. You know, there's a lot of things that I still keep from those conversations that I used to have with him. Uh, I didn't get the opportunity to work with him this off season. I didn't even got to see him. But um, to be honest, like I I I, I went to the off season. I didn't. I, I wasn't 100 percent sure that I want to come back. I was gonna come back here with the Rangers. You know, because all the situations and all the stuff going on. So I was like. Yeah, I talked to uh, Eddie Robles, who is my he's been my hitting coach since I was nine, ten years old, and I, I I had a conversation with him. I sat down with him and I told him that I wanted to be I wanted to be more myself. You know, I wanted to forget all the things that I have been working on the last couple of years and just go back to, you know, the Ronald Guzman when I was 15, 16 years old. You know, being more simple, more line drives, you know, getting on top of the ball and stuff like that. And I just I built a batting cage next to, next to my house, and I, I was just working every single day. I was playing winter ball, and I, before I was going to the field, I was I was working on the batting cage with with Eddie, the guy that I've been working it, uh, with in the past, and I just feel like all the work that we did was like very quality. And so, when you said you weren't sure about if you were coming back, is that because you thought you might get you might get traded? Yes. Or were you thinking about whether or not you wanted to come back? No, no. I mean, I, I wanted to come back. It's just you know the whole situation. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I this, I've been here my whole career. I love it here. You know, it, it's just it's this business and it's a tough sport. You know, I just if I if I if I want to reach my full potential ever, like if I want I want to do with the Rangers because you know everything I have and everything that I have learned and you know it's been from the Rangers and and if I can do all the things that I want to do in baseball, if I do it here, that would be that would be the best thing for me. And for the Rangers. And so, and so just the last thing on the swing changes, when you communicated over the winter, obviously, I mean, Louie and, and Krabby, they could see some of the Dominican highlights, and we all saw them. But when you communicated with them what you were doing with, with Elliot, what was the feedback from them? They 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 they, lo- they loved it. You know, I was showing, I was sending them videos. I'll, I'll, I'll have, like, a little talk. Like, I didn't really go, like, on abundance, like I didn't really talk about everything that I was doing because I was still in the process, you know. I feel like, but I was show, I was showing videos and be look like I, I get I did this against this lefty, or I had this type of bat against I hit this line drive, you know. And they they were just loving it, you know. They were they were pretty much like letting me, you know, be myself and letting it, letting me be like the guy who made the adjustment. But they were definitely there, you know, uh, happy with all the, the the stuff that I was doing and. And you know they were agreeing with all the stuff that I was doing, and, and that was that was a good thing. Okay, um, and then just last detail: you said you built a batting cage next to your house. Yeah, yeah. You I have didn't a... build it by hand, did you? Huh? You didn't build it yourself, did no, you? No, no, no. I got I have someone to build it, but it, it's a pretty sick batting cage. I, I I love being there. I, I love working there. Okay, and that's the first time you've had one at home, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you, Ronald. Yeah. No problem.
Okay.